Hey, Master Gardeners. I got quite an unusual native plant to show to you today. This one's growing in my garden and I'm about to do a severe pruning on it. So before I do that, I wanted to show it to you. So this is a native that I collected from a local nature center probably eight years ago. Now, I would not say that this would be the typical homeowner plant that you would put in because this one needs to be at the far reaches of your yard. But it's an interesting native because it's aggressive, huge thorns on it. The name of this is Harry Lauder, I mean, his Hercules Club, rightfully named because it's a weapon. Very aggressive, armed with teeth um, that are just, I have leather gloves on because they're so sharp. But its name is Aurelia spinosa, and it's a colonial plant, much like sumac grows in little groves. It's a lot like that with a light brown bark, a lot of single trunks, as you can see behind me, lots of single stems, very coarse textured in your yard. But whammo, in the late summer when it comes into flower and it begins to make berries, it's unbelievably gorgeous. If you see it on the roadsides around our county and you see those big panicles, the flowers are three, almost four foot wide, and the flowers become so heavy that they actually begin to droop a little bit. They're only born on the very tip top of the branches. The leaves cluster at the top and then those big flowering panicles develop. It's just spectacular to look at. So a very interesting plant and interesting foliage because the leaf is three times pinnate. So one time, two times on this one, and sometimes three times pinnate. So a big compound leaf. And the interesting part about it is the way the leaf scar attaches to the stems. The leaf scars actually go three fourths of the way. Ouch, this thing is very prickly. Look at the leaf scar on the stem here. It actually goes almost Ow, I'm having a hard time turning it. It almost goes almost three-fourths of the way around the stem. So a very clasping petiole on it. So heavy duty. These are actually, it's called Aurelia spinosa, and the spinosa means spiny, but these are not really spines at all. These are actually true prick prickles, which means they originate from the cortex, actually from the epidermis, where spines are really just a modified leaf on a plant. So heavy duty heavy duty prickles on this guy. It's pollinator friendly, it's wildlife friendly, it's bird friendly. The birds love to eat the little blackberries. In that big giant flower that I get on the top of here, that I kid you not, the flower is this big when it blooms and then it's covered with insects who love to pollinate it and then it gets covered with birds who eat most of the seeds. But they don't eat all the seeds because I'm starting to get some babies shooting up in here. It does send suckers, but I think some of these might be little seedlings that are coming up. It's also a little bit trashy. As you can see, the center stems of the leaf are a little bit dumpy looking. So that's another reason it may not be one that you're gonna put up next to your backyard, like right up next to the kitchen. <laughs> Actually, it's on the way to my compost pile and I've often gotten wounded. Your head does not want to bump into this ornery little guy when it's, uh, when it's any time of the year for that matter. And let me tell you this, when you touch it, it can cause a little bit of dermatitis from the spines. Usually the older stems don't have as many spines, but these young stems, they have a lot of spines on them. It's uh, east coast, all the way down to Florida, all the way west to the Mississippi River. Um, Interesting little native, gives a little palmy tropical look in your yard. So if you want to try something really unique, try this devil's walking stick.